This topic of overcoming hardships is one that was void of my upbringing. This is why I speak on it so passionately. There was preparations to ensure that I was self-sufficient along with accountability measures when I was lacking as a young man and teen. That said, it is no excuse to wallow in that energy of hardships, but to formulate execution plans. It starts with self-reprogramming of the mind and body, learning what specifically works and what to leave by the wayside is critical to rapidly overcoming hardships. The question of how is answered in the following. What is it that you want? What level of ambition are you in? Are you willing to lose to win? Are you consistent? Do you believe in doing for others without immediate payment of some sort? Are you familiar with gardening? What does gardening have to do with overcoming hardships? Like in gardening, one must have a plot of land. That's the dream or idea. Next comes the testing of the soil to ensure it's not poisoned and fertile. That's attempting this and that to see what sticks. Then there's the tilling of the land and the most critical factor, planting of the seeds. That's doing the work and making future connections to ensure continuity. That is an uninterrupted flow. That last one is very important because We meet people daily, and depending on one's level of discernment, determines the company that we keep and their roles within our lives. Life requires hardships for positive growth. The sun helps and harms. Light is essential in both people and plants, in keeping with gardening. Once those requirements are met, protection of the garden or your mind and body is necessary as there are pests of all sorts who seek to destroy your garden, your mind and body, and ultimately your spirit, as displayed by all social site behaviors. Believe it or not, Goody Goody Mob and so many others were correct. They got us fighting for our spirits and minds. A spiritual war has been present since man began. There are very few on social sites really living a life that's best. But despair, ratchet Olympics, is not what's best for life. Another thing about life is that it has fire and brimstone implications, meaning life will put you or part of you into the fire, thus maybe proving what I think to be true, is that life is hell and heaven is death. Instead of the notion of heaven and hell as a consolation prize, best told through books, etc., that's a different topic, here's some sound advice. First, put yourself through hell to better handle life's version. Expect the unexpected. Seek the hard road. Therefore, when the true hardships come about, you are better equipped to overcome them and more abundant than others. Third, rejoice in the wins that you accomplish. Give yourself flowers to add to the flowers others may gift you. And by all means, love the one that see that you see in that mirror every day. There have been people who witnessed me going through things as they are, and they were visibly upset that I wasn't stressing or bugging out as they were. It was expressed that they felt that I didn't give a fuck about what was occurring, and that was incorrect. I had more logical ways to keep my mind and body busy while enduring the storm. I have also witnessed others use self-medication to get through things. This is a double-edged sword. To each his own, but I do not recommend it. There are far better methods of dealing with life that is free and more relaxing that will net healthier results. Again, uh, Again, to each his own. I'll leave you with a bit of wisdom. If it's the brain that gives feelings of being high, why do you need drugs and booze? And that's the reality.